Okay, so we're now going to put some of these tools we've been discussing into practice. We're going to look at how we can use the trace tool, copy parallel tool, and the copy paste method to create new features based on existing features. Okay, so we're now in ArcGIS Pro, and we're going to start by using the trace tool. What we want to do is create a new sidewalk that happens to run along this road and this edge of the parcels. So what we're going to do is use the trace tool to generate the new sidewalk based on the geometry of the upper edge or the northern edge of these parcel boundaries that are already defined. So first thing we're going to want to do, go in and select the um, edit tab up here in the ribbon. And we want to make sure that we have our snapping configured, just like always. We're going to see what we have. Snapping is turned on. We see it's blue. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we go ahead and snap to the endpoints um, and vertices of the parcels that we're going to be working with. We also want to make sure that our snapping here in the contents pane is set. So we're only snapping to the, the parcels for right now. So I'm going to turn off everything else and that's what we're snapping. And we also, of course, want to make sure that the sidewalks layer is editable. So we can see it is. Uh, we don't want to edit the center lines, buildings, zoning, or parcels at the moment. We're just trying to create the new sidewalks. We're going to set the rest of those as non-editable. Okay. Now that we have that in place, we're going to want to create a new feature. So we're going to go up here and click on the Create Features button up here in the Edit tab in the Features group. So click that, and that opens the Create Features pane. This is where we access those um, feature templates that we need to create the new feature. We're going to go ahead and turn, well, we're going to minimize or auto-hide the catalog pane just to give us some more screen real estate. We're now going to come over here and select the sidewalks feature template. You can see when we do that, that the edit uh, editing toolbar opens up down here and we've got various tools. The default for this particular feature class is the line uh, tool, but we want to actually use the trace tool and we can select it either from here is one of the tools listed under uh, the, the feature template or down here from the toolbar. Either way, it, it doesn't matter, so I'll just select it from up here. And we're going to go ahead and create it uh, along this, um, this side here. So I'm going to come down and go ahead and kind of move my mouse down here into the area we're going to create it. Uh, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and press the O button. The O button opens the trace options, and here I can trace with an offset. So I'm going to do it five feet, which is good. Uh, so the sidewalk will be five feet off of or offset five feet from the boundary of the parcels that I'm going to be tracing. I'm going to go ahead and say remove self-intersecting loops in case your mouse does something weird. That kind of cleans things up. If you know the length of the feature you're trying to create, you can go ahead and limit that trace to that specified length. In this case, I don't know the exact length, so I'm not going to do that. Also, if I pre-selected the parcels in this case that I wanted to trace, I could say use only those selected features. Um, if you don't, then it'll just trace whatever your mouse is following over. So I don't have any selected, so I'm going to leave that off. And I'm going to click OK. So now I've got my options set. And when I click here, because we're start at this intersection, click there, is I start moving my mouse along the parcel boundary. Notice it is tracing it out. I can go as far as I want to and I'll just go over to here and then double click. And that's just created that new sidewalk that is offset five feet from the northern boundary of those parcels. And that's just because that was over that was just because those were the features I was tracing. It, it, I could have done it off the center line. I could have done it off any any layer too, but I just knew that the sidewalk was five feet off the northern edge of those parcels, which also represents the road right of way in there. So we've got that in there and we've now created that new feature. And of course, at this point, I would then go in with like any new feature create and start updating 
um, the attributes. So go in and say the, the width of this particular um, sidewalk is uh, three feet. Notes it's width and feet. It is concrete, so I can leave that in there and apply that. So I've now updated the attributes. I'm good. And of course, I want to make sure I've saved my changes to make sure that edit sticks. So I've drawn my new sidewalk in. The next thing I want to do is use the copy parallel tool. And up here, you'll notice I've got a road, at least a road center line. That's what the red lines are. As you can see over here in the contents pane, the street center lines are shown in red. And I want to show the right of way of this particular road. Um, so I can go in and eventually add the rest of the information for it, the parcels and things like that. But right away is a good place to start. So I'm going to, since I already have the center line digitized in, it's very easy to use the copy parallel tool in order to copy this feature and generate a new line feature on either side of it. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, that feature, make sure it is indeed selectable. So we're going to, yep, center lines are still selectable, so that's good. Next thing I also want to do, because I know I'm creating new right-of-ways, uh, is make sure that's editable. Right now the right-of-way layer is not in here, so we're going to go ahead and add it into our map really quick. So I'm going to go back here to my catalog pane, click on the tab so it opens back up, and I've got a right-of-way layer here. I'm just going to drag and drop it into my map. And so it's in there. And you can see some of the edges here. I'm going to go ahead and change uh, the color of the right-of-way, get it set up so it's a little darker and easier to see. Um, I go with this purple here, and I'm not going for any great cartographic output at this point, just something that you can see there. So now you can see that. So I want to come in and, and now create the right-of-way for this road here using the copy parallel. So we're going to go back in, select this road, go up here under Tools, and look for my Copy Parallel. And there it is. So with it selected, now notice when I do this, it shows arrows indicating the direction. So this is the direction that line is going. And that is important because when you go to Copy Parallel, you can choose which side you want to copy uh, the new feature to. So it's important to know that direction. And by default, it's the direction that the line was drawn or the polygon was drawn. And usually if you turn on the vertices, that's symbolized by red um, and green vertices, the red being the last one drawn, so it goes from green to red. So, but it's very nice, it just automatically drops those zeros on there so we know which direction it is. Okay, so we've got our Copy Parallel tool open over here in the Modify Features pane. Our template is not going to be sidewalks. This is basically the target layer we're sending it to, so we're going to put it on road right-of-ways. Okay, and then I'm going to choose the distance that I'm copying it parallel to either side. It's kind of like an, uh, an offset or a buffer. And so if I know that this road happens to have a, say, a, a 50 foot right of way, then I'm going to offset that uh, 25 feet. And notice as I'm doing that, it, it's showing that preview, right? Because I have that box checked. I'm seeing what I'm doing. Uh, so if I had an aerial photo underneath this, I could turn it on and see, you know, does that seem to line up with the aerial uh, based off the, the features I'm seeing on the ground, whatnot. Okay, I'm going to stick with the uh, 25 feet there. Sure, show the preview. Um, other things, so I can align the direction of the connecting lines with a separate feature, copy to a single feature, anyway, so forth, so on. Again, the remove self-intersecting loops in case something is weird or the shape uh, of what I'm copying would generate those. And again, now I can pick which side. Do I want to do both, left or right? In this case, because I want to generate right away on both sides of that center line, I'm going to leave it set to both. And then how does it handle corners when it goes around any sharp turns? In this case, uh, there's no real sharp turns or bends on this road. Yes, we have a slight curve over here, but nothing 
major it, it looks fine so there's no need to adjust that and with all that I'm gonna click the copy button down here and there we go we've now created those new features on the right away layer and again I would want to go in and update whatever attributes if there are any in this case they're really not anything I need to update um, just gonna leave it the way it is so close that back down okay. so we've used the trace tool to generate a new sidewalk we've used the copy uh, parallel tool to generate new right-of-way layers or right-of-way lines and of course I'd want to go back in here um, and clean up this intersection which we'll talk about the the tools to trim and extend those in a different lesson so I'm not going to show you how to do that right now but we will learn that later on okay so the next thing I want to do is use the copy paste method to copy features from one layer into another so what's happened uh, in this particular scenario is the city uh, that we're working with here has annexed in a couple of additional a few well not a couple a few additional parcels in and they need to update the zoning accordingly so you can see if I click the zoning layer I've turned it on so they've annexed say these four parcels right here okay and so what we're going to do is add those four parcels to my zoning layer. We can do that with a simple copy paste. So the first thing I want to do, uh, again, make sure I know it's selectable. In this case, I really just want to make sure that the parcels are selectable so I don't accidentally select them. I'm also, notice I have road right of way still selected. I'm going to go ahead and clear those out so I don't accidentally have something selected I don't intend to. And then I also want to make sure that the zoning layer is editable. So I'm going to click and make the zoning layer editable so I can add those parcels to it. So we've got to make sure that happens. I'm going to make sure these other layers aren't, just again to keep me from accidentally editing that. And now I'm going to go and select these four parcels here that have been annexed into the city that I need to add to the zoning layer. So now that I have them uh, selected, I can right click and go copy. You could have also gone up here to the editing tab in the clipboard section or group and select copy. Either way would work. Now that I have those selected, again, I can right click and go paste or I can go up here and go paste. So I'm gonna choose paste, uh, in this case, paste, paste special. And I'm going to choose either the layer that it wants to go in or I can actually put it into the correct feature template. So let me go back there. So since I know this is going into the zoning layer and I know that the surrounding uh, parcels are zoned general commercial, I'm going to assume that these are as well. So I'm going to click general commercial. That's what GC stands for and click OK. Boom. And so you can see now it's copied those. If I go to my list by selection, you see now I've got four, one, two, three, four polygons selected, and those are on the zoning layer. And again, if I open my attribute pane, you can see where it pasted those into general commercial, general commercial, general commercial, and so on. And of course, I'd still want to go in and update any of this other information that I needed to uh, for those four new uh, zoning polygons that I've just copied. But you know how to do that, so we're not going to show those. Okay. So I literally copied, and if I turn off the zoning layer, you can see the parcels are still there. It just literally copied those features, that geometry from the parcel layer, and pasted it into the zoning layer. And by the way, you can use this also as a way to convert data. I can select features that are in a shape file and paste them into a geodatabase feature class or select features that are in an AutoCAD file and paste them into a geodatabase feature class or a shape file. The only caveat is that they have to be the same geometry. I can only copy and paste lines into lines, points into points, and polygons into polygons. I can't mix and match feature types. So there you go. You've now seen how to use the trace tool 
copy parallel, and the copy paste method all to create new features based on existing features within your data. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out and contact us either via our website, give us a call, or shoot us an email at these addresses here. So thank you, and we'll move on to the next one.